Using polish, we're going to do a variation of a sponge technique. I'm going to be using um, a regular traditional makeup sponge, and I've just cut it in half to make it a little bit thinner to fit this nail size. I'm going to apply this Robin Egg Blue as her base color. And then I'm going to, on my sponge, apply two contrasting colors. And I'm going to do two coats of her base color. Let it dry in between. Of course, if you're working in the salon, you're going to be painting all ten, so the first nail is going to be dry by the time you get done with the tenth finger. Applying second coat. And I tend to stay towards light colors when I'm doing a sponging technique. So everything I'm using is kind of in the blue family. Um, I'm using this robin egg, and then I'm going to use a, a frosted, shimmery, darker blue, and then I'm also going to use white. White's kind of a neutral color when you're when you're marbling or sponging. We're going to let this dry. For my sponge, I'm using a normal um, makeup sponge. And I've just cut it in half so it's thinner, so it fits the nail plate. And I'm taking tweezers and I'm randomly going to pull out little chunks. And it's going to make the surface of the sponge textured. And then we're going to apply our next two colors with it. So it'll look very, very randomly sponged on. Kind of like faux painting on a wall. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You could do it with little scissors. And that looks good to me. You know, it's purely preference on how you want it to go on. So it has a little bit of texture to it. Our base color has dried. Um, it's not 100% dry, but dry enough that when we apply and sponge on our color, it's not going to lift our base color off. So I'm going to put a dab of our electric blue, so pretty, and our white on a piece of palette paper. I like using palette paper because I can cut it. It's like little wax paper and I have little pieces that I pre-cut and it's just easy to dispose of. You could use a little piece of glass or a, a plate. Randomly I'm just going to dunk right into my color. So I'm loading both colors on the sponge. I'm going to go straight onto the nail. Very, very easy. I'm actually going to do two coats because I want a little bit darker hue. There's no right or wrong to this. You don't want to overload the sponge. So I'm dabbing off excess onto my palette paper. And here again, I'm not trying to hit the same spot. I just want it to be a little bit darker here and there. And that's it. Oh, I'm going to go over here. Come in with my acetone if you get any on the skin. with my birchwood stick. Remember we're working on with polish now so we have to use remover. And then we would apply our top coat. 